Okay, we have a lot on our plate today, and so first, like always, let's do the news. All right, Henry, let's start with Obama. Obama, I have not a spiritual education plan. Yeah, I love him, but Obama does. Okay, Henry, I didn't hear which Obama story you wanted to hear. The education. The education, right. In case you didn't hear, yesterday, Barack Obama came out, and the proposed major education plan, the operative word here is proposed, he said, I propose that to bring American education into the 21st century, that the school day must be longer, and the school year must be longer. And uh, it was specified. Uh, he also said, and this is the very controversial part for teachers anyway, that teachers should be given merit pay based on the performance of their students on standardized tests. Yes. And bottom line, if we all get fours and fives, on the AP, I get a raise. If my region students get uh, 85 or above, I get a raise. If they don't, Mr. Powers, his pay is frozen. All right, Andrew, we'll start with you one at a time. Well, first of all, basing pay on merit is ridiculous because then you have teachers who major in special education and their students, I mean, they have to work tirelessly to get their students to get even the average grades on their test. Mm -hmm. so they would be penalized for their hard work. Uh, that's not fair. Also, I mean, just Lengthening the school day for a lot of students isn't going to help because they have a lack of concentration in this. Mm -hmm. So to make them sit for longer, uh, longer days, that, that would make them not want to be there even more and concentrate less on schoolwork. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully it would result in less homework so they'd have more time to still do the other things that they have to get done, extracurricular sports, work, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, so do you agree? This is a bad plan. I'm a big old Bob fan, like I've said a million times, but we've talked about this before. You cannot reward teachers for people who get like better grades because you have special education teachers. And then you have the inner city schools that just have kids who don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. Is that fair for these teachers not to be able to get paid because they don't have mom or dad around and they don't have the work ethic like other students? I don't think that's fair. And the whole thing about like elongating your school days and like elongating the year, like Andrew said, kids can't focus as it is now during the time we have. And it's, it's long enough. Like I want to go home and go sleep. That's basically what I want to do. <laughs> so, Lauren, do you agree? This is a bad plan. Yeah, I agree. I was going to say, like, what Jackie's saying, like, it's kind of funny how our school wants to change it because they think kids can't handle 80 minutes, mm -hmm. and then, but Obama wants to go even longer. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. It's not going to work. Well, Taylor, I guess this isn't going to bring American education in the 21st century. Well, I, you know, I'm, I admire Obama in many ways for many things, but I, I don't see how this is different from the No Child Left Behind Act that we've already been through and already suffered through mm -hmm. throughout our high school careers. And I'm kind of confused on how this is going to correlate into his his uh, proposal for a national uh, what's it called? Uh, national, national service. service. Yeah. Right. How's that, how that going to work if, we're, in, if, the, if kids are in school longer? Oh, you'll be better educated. You'll, you'll realize more things. Well, we'll, 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 we'll have time to do national service. Good well, comment, well, for sure. For sure. Right, so the two don't mix. Well, Henry, you brought it up. What do you think? Well, I kind of, well, I like the idea of maybe um, pay based on merit. I don't think it's a good idea to have a longer school days and a longer school year. I think it's going to cost too much money for districts, which a lot of districts already have huge deficits because of the economy last year. But I think that for the most part, our country already is in the 21st century. Like, say, New York, for example, like naturally has above average test right. scores. Right. I think it's mostly just the American South, not the South. Generalizing, mm -hmm. but maybe just set different standards for different regions. Henry, may I ask you a question? But what about Jackie's point about the merit pay? I mean, she's very much against it. Are you for it? I think teachers would be motivated to do a better job if they knew they were going to get more money if they were able to teach their kids in a manner that will help them achieve higher test scores. So we then, Dave, are motivated primarily by money. Um, well, not, well, not no, <laughs> but I do kind of agree with Henry, but I don't think it should be based on, like, uh -huh. the SATs or something like that, because that, uh -huh. that's not really, uh -huh. like, some kids, like, don't just don't do good on tests and stuff, but I think it should be, I don't know, like, based on, like, the principals uh -huh. who work in the school, I think they should come in, and if they're starting to do a good job and they see, like, improvement, then they should get a raise. Okay. Mackenzie, Kyle, and Jay. I just, I don't think a statement like Henry's would be made if you lived with a special ed teacher. Like, I don't, if you put yourself in somebody else's shoes, like, Mr. Powers would make so much money every year because he lives here with these AP students who are like, yeah, I can just read this book and learn everything. Whereas you go into like a self-contained classroom and these kids are working, I'm going to say it, way harder than we are. 
most of us were born pretty smart. I mean, yeah, we all work hard, but these kids are working so hard and they can't get the score. And I don't think that we should mark intelligence necessarily by test scores. Like you bring up the issue of a kid's only as smart as the high test grade that he has. So like you're demeaning the teachers and you're demeaning the kids because then you have these kids who feel so defeated because they can't make their scores and they're feeling guilty because they're not like enriching their educational system. Like it's just bad for everyone. Kyle, your thoughts, please. Um, I agree with Mackenzie, and, and I don't think pay should be based on merit, strictly because you're going to have teachers that then only teach the test. And that doesn't benefit the educational system. If anything, it limits what you're learning. You're only learning what's going to be taught on a test. As Like, we're learning this entire book. Mm -hmm. This entire book isn't going to be on the test, but we're learning it anyways, therefore furthering our education. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think it's a stupid idea to mm -hmm. teach, or pay teachers based on how their ch their students perform on tests because they're only learning what's on the test and not everything that can be taught. Got it. Excellent. Last word on this goes to Jackie, then we'll do another story. Well, no, like I said before, you get students who don't want to work, and it's not fair to the teacher who's trying to teach them everything they need to know, and they don't want to do anything. And then what are you going to do with music teachers and PE teachers? They're going to get picked. Teachers, teacher unions are going to, they're already rallying up. I read it on our news the other night, oh, yeah. and they're picked off. And they have every right to be. Because music teachers, how are you going to, like, what if they deserve more money? Like, how do you defer what they're, what they're going to do based on someone that can sing better? Or, like, if someone participates more in gym than another? Like, how do you determine who gets paid more in right. those kind of departments? Right. So maybe Barack Obama ought to reconsider this. Okay. Anything else you want?